The Lumina COV-2 N CAPSI protein antigen test is intended for use by healthcare professionals. It is supplied with UV lamps for an accurate sensitive result detection. It may also be used with a super sensitive reader, LSLC20. Test results can be obtained within 15 minutes and it is able to detect positive concentrations as low as 5ng ml compared to colloidal gold IVDs that typically require more than 200 ng ml to form a visible strip. Therefore, the device is especially suitable for early detection of the SARS-CoV-2, enabling the detection of the COVID-19 disease at such places as airports, border controls, factories, and other exposed places where fast diagnosis is needed. The IVD tests are delivered in two boxes. Box A containing five pouches each with 10 swabs. Please note, only these swabs can be used. One pouch contains 55 droppers and a UV lamp. Including the instructions for use and the calibration magnetic card for the LSLC20 reader. There are also 50 pouches containing the testing cassette and the drying agent. Box B contains the instructions for use and two plastic holders, each carrying 25 bottles with the preservation solution. Before use, check each bottle carefully for any damage and check that the liquid content is clear. It must not be turbid and the color and volume of all the bottles must be the same. Only use items provided in the package. Do not mix tests and reagents from different lots. Correct and accurate sampling is necessary for obtaining the correct results. First, take the bottle and open the lid. Swabs in the testing kit are chemically treated and you must only use these swabs for obtaining the result. Open the swab on the opposite side of where the cotton head is. Before taking a sample, let the patient gargle using fresh water. This will eliminate any possible interference of the analyte. Always use a safety suit, mask and gloves. Only take a pharyngeal swab, not a nasal swab. Use a medical spatula if the patient cannot push the root of the tongue down enough. Do not contaminate the swab with saliva. Contamination by saliva may cause a change in the analyte viscosity and may result in a false, weak positivity. Insert the swab into the reagent and wash the sample thoroughly in the preservation solution. Stir it well along the bottle sides. Then squeeze sufficiently to keep as much of the liquid in the bottle as possible. Return the swab into the package and treat it as biologically dangerous material. Take the dropper and remove it from the plastic cover. Then suck the liquid into the dropper up to the mark which shows 20 microliters. You can also use a precise electronic pipette capable of taking 60 microliters. Droppers delivered in the kit produce 20 microliters per one drop. You can either fill the dropper up to the black strip and release the liquid into the cassette and repeat it three times, or alternatively, if you already know the speed of dropping, you can also simply suck more analyte and insert the three drops. Faster release means larger drop volume. U60UL equals three times 20 UL drops. The nitrocellulose membrane starts flooding within about a minute. Ensure this happens because mucus contaminated analyte may cause the membrane to block. Set up a clock or a mobile phone stopwatch for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take the UV lamp and scan the result. The C control line must always be visible. This confirms the chromatographic reaction went well in the membrane. Any sign of a strip at the T testing point confirms positivity. For a more precise alternative for result interpretation, 
use the LSLC20 chromatographic detector reader. First, connect the reader into the power socket and switch on using the backside button. Wait until the Android operation system starts up. The reader will do a self-configuration and control at every startup. Each test box A contains a magnetic card for a particular lot calibration at the LSLC20. Take the card and place it in the card section and press Read IC Card on the main menu. Press Confirm and then wait for the data to be loaded from the card. Make sure the lot number and expiration date is the same as on the box label. Then Confirm. Before testing, you can also personalize the data. The number of the test is always in the date format, plus a number. If you click Auto, each new test will receive a higher number in the sequence. Then add the name, gender and age. Choose the correct sample type, swab, blood, serum or other. Choose the corresponding lot. The lot on the box in the reader must be identical. Different IVD tests have different positions of the reading unit at the LSLC20 reader. It is critically important to use the right configuration of the reader for your IVD you are using. To make the machine interoperable, you can simply choose more tests. 15 minutes after the analyte is dropped into the cassette, insert the cassette into the machine by the front round window. Push the cassette up to this point until you can see the Lomina shield. Then press the instant test and wait for the reader to scan the result. Alternatively, press timing test if you prefer to leave the cassette in the machine for 15 minutes. In such a case, insert the cassette immediately after dripping the analyte in. A result will appear after 20 seconds. You can list tests using the arrows on both sides. The result is interpreted by a quantitative graph and a qualitative result positive, negative or abnormal invalid. The result test can be perpetually printed after pressing the print button. The slip is including all the entered details. It can also include the laboratory name and the person responsible for the testing. This can all be set up in the menu settings and instrument setting. Lomina produces and distributes also other IVD tests compatible with the LSLC20 radar. We offer the machine for free to customers who regularly use our fluorescent tests such as the COVID-19 antibody, vitamin D body level, influenza AB or other cardio tumor or infection disease tests. Please contact your local representative or our cell support team. We wish you a lot of good health.